This is a giant elephant's ear. It isn't taro? This over here is a giant elephant's ear leaf. This is taro, the leaf of a taro plant. Taro leaves are pale green. Giant elephant's ear leaves are dark green. Also, the depression in the taro leaves is shallow. The giant elephant's ear leaf depression is deeper. All of the giant elephant's ear is poisonous, so you can't bite it. Huh? Poisonous? If you only see one type, then... How can you distinguish between taro and giant elephant's ear? You just have to see whether or not there are water droplets on the leaf. The surface of the taro leaves has fine cilia hairs. If water splashes on top, the cilia hairs will cause the water to collect together, forming a droplet. Mm -hmm. I can't see any cilia hairs. Those nanoscale cilia are smaller than even the thinnest and shortest hairs on Nala's body. You can't even see them with your eyes. Nanometer? Can you eat it? A nanometer is a very, very small measurement of length. For example, if the taro leaves were as large as the old battlefield, then the silly hairs on the leaves will only be as long as the finest hairs on Nalu's body. Oh, then why do the silly hairs make the water gather into droplets? If we take a very close look, you will see that the surface of the taro leaves have tiny protruding structures. Each protruding structure has a needle-like waxy structure 20 to 50 nanometers in diameter because wax and water repel each other. And this repelling effect is maximized by the nanoscale cilia hairs. So it will cause the water to form droplets which roll around on the leaves. Aren't the cilia hairs really small? How can they be maximized? Suppose the leaves were originally flat. If you add the protrusions to the surface, what will happen to the contact area? It will increase! And if you add the nanoscale cilia hairs? The contact area will be even larger! This is the maximizing effect of the cilia hairs repelling water. And because of this mutual repelling effect, when the water droplets roll around, it will also clean up the dust and dirt on the leaf surface, so the taro leaf surface always stays clean. This phenomenon was discovered on the lotus flower leaves, so it is called the lotus effect. If nanoscale is so small that it can't be seen with the eyes, then what else is there that's also nanoscale? Mm. Ah, there are nanoscale ripples on the skin of sharks, so sharks can swim very fast. If I had shark skin, I would have an endless supply of fish to eat. Maybe in the future we'll be able to design that kind of clothing. Right! We have to give Nalu a bath! I almost forgot! <laughs> oh, <laughs> 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 